Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is a create a fold because it is Tuesday, and I am using the Nine Lives stamp set. This is a fun stamp set that is in the Occasions catalog, and it measures the uh, excuse me, it matches the cap punch that we've had for a couple of years. It is a fun two-step um, stamp set um, for all the cat lovers out there. So what I have already done is I have taken the heart from the Be Mine uh, stitch framelits and I have run it through the tufted um, embossing folder to give some texture to that heart. And I have a piece of grapefruit grove. This measures five and a quarter, excuse me, five and a half by four and a quarter. A piece of very vanilla. This measures four by five and a quarter. I have another piece of the uh, grapefruit. This measures um, three and three quarter by four and a half. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that gingham gallon on um, the smaller piece of the grapefruit. I am so in love with this gingham paper. We really need to keep gingham paper in the catalog at all times in my book. And so what I'm going to do is I am now going to score it at the quarter inch mark. And the four inch. So I want to score that. I want to, I don't know if I still have my sticky um, tape out here. I um, my tear and tape and I do. So I'm just going to run that tear and tape on both sides because I really want a lot of um, oops and I just ripped my paper. Boy I'm having a good time here so let's just put that down. We're going to take the tear and tape and put it on the other side. Some days my thumbs just don't want to work right. So there we've got the, the tear and tape in place and I'm just going to remove that tear and tape. And again it's on both sides because I want it to be adhered really well. And so I'm going to pick up that piece of Whisper White. I'm going to um, the eyeball it right along there so that I have about the same amount up and at the top and down at the bottom. So I have that sticky um, tear and tape on the other side and I'm just going to lay that on top of my quarter sheet of grapefruit. Get it straight here because with the tear and tape it may not be so forgiving. We're just going to my bone folder and really push that down. I'm going to come in with that heart. I'm going to add that right about there. I have already stamped my two-step um, cat. Again, I used that grapefruit and outlined the cat in black. I'm going to add some dimensionals here to the cat. And I'm wondering, I did this a while ago, I can't remember if I used my rectangle um, die and cut it down or if this is the same size as the rectangle die with the verse. So let me just get that cat in the front of my card like so and I'm going to grab the rectangles and see, yes, it was the smaller rectangle that I used. So I just took that verse that says, a friend like you comes around once in nine years. So maybe we're going to have to move my cat over just a tad. And then we will add our verse with some dimensionals. And then what I did was I used that heart stamp from the Nine Lives set. 
well things that I want to stick won't stick the things I didn't want to stick are sticking so there we go so we've got that we're going to bring in that little heart and we're going to go ahead and use my markers and I'm just going to randomly stamp those hearts at the top. Just a very cute, simple, creative fold. Again, using that Nine Lives stamp set. And I could also, since I put that on the middle, oops, I see I didn't get a good inking there. That's one thing nice with having markers the same color. I can just go in and correct that. Stamp that down. But a creative fold that's very simple and really you only uses about the same amount of cardstock as a regular size card. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.